Hello, Dr. Priyam. Yes, hey, what's up? Have you seen my video that where I said one third of all the past the whole numbers are even? No, not yet. Are you serious? Know. I thought we are friends, Priyam. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, so this is going to be your first reaction to, to this, right? And yes. I uh, want to see what you think about the following, right? So can you write on the board Z plus? Sure. You know, just a set of past the integers. Yes. Right. So like one, two. Yeah. So put a one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Right. Okay, now by looking at that set, what percent well, what fraction of the numbers are even? I would say 1 over 2 because... Okay, let's put that on the side, even 1 over 2. Yeah. And now, next line, put on equal side. No, 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 over there, over there, you, put, on, put oh. on equal side and then the set, set notation. Okay. Now, let's write this down. 1, comma, 3, comma, 2 comma, five, comma, seven, comma, four, four. comma, dot, dot, dot. And now, would you agree with me that that's a set of all the positive, if, uh, that's a set of all the positive integers? Yes, except the six. Well, I can have the six. Okay, put down, if you want to see the six, sure. Put down nine. Here? Yeah. Comma, 11, comma, Six. And you have your six now. Okay. Comma, and then put on dot, dot, dot. Okay. <laughs> so now, would you agree that that's a set of all the positive integers? Okay, fine. If you continue. Yes, I will continue, continue because of dot, dot, dot. Yes. Now, what's the percentage of the numbers are even? Okay, let's see. One, two, three. So three out of nine. Which is? One third. Yes. Whoa. And Unbelievable! You agree with me that that's a way to write out all the integers, all the yes. positive integers, right? Yes. And now, what do you think about this? Why one half and one third? That is so surprising. I mean, all I can think of is for the, for example, if a sequence conver converges conditionally but not absolutely, okay. you can rearrange this to have any sum you want. Yeah. So maybe there's some witchcraft like this going on. <laughs> and then, if you would like, can you make the percentage or the fraction to be 1 over 4? 1 over 4? Hmm. Let me think. So the even numbers? Yeah, just the four. even numbers. So how would you would trick other people? 5, 7... No, 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 it would be 1 over 5. Huh? That would give you oh, 1 yeah. over 5. So you should no, erase the... No, 1 over 4! You should erase the 7 and put up yeah. 2. Sorry about that. And then? Da, da, da. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then the even numbers will be what? I mean, the percentage of the even numbers will be what? One fourth. One over four. What is this witchcraft? <laughs> I don't know. I can't even. <laughs> I can't even. So now, a serious right. question for you. Okay. If I ask you, or maybe somebody outside of the street ask you, yeah. what percentage of the numbers are even? What would you answer? Uh, one over whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo! Woo! And wow. by the way, this video, I have the most number of dislikes. Really? Yeah, over like 880 or something like that. Oh, I'm sorry. But it's okay. Yeah, yeah but one over whatever you want. Yes. <laughs> cool. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you agree with me that if you write down the set the second way, the even will yeah, be one over but I think that's where measure theory kicks in because before it's like we're not there was a loose definition of how many of those like in other words what's the probability of having an even integer uh -huh. right but I think it's measure theory that fixes those things oh. so you have this counting measure okay and then basically you say well you know in terms of the measure if you take the ratio of the measure of the even integers uh -huh. and the measure of all integers you uh -huh. get one half Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. But would you agree that that's infinity over infinity to be one third? Huh? Yeah, but it depends on the kind of infinity, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right.
that's why the issue maybe of the dot 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 notation. Yeah, that's why the dot dot dots are important. Otherwise, earlier we couldn't no, say. No, no, no. But I'm saying that's why it's important in sets not to use dot dot dot. Because, for example, what if you had that two? What was it? No, uh, three five seven. Okay. Okay. Dot dot. Do you mean? The set of odd integers, mm -hmm. greater than or equal to three, mm -hmm. or do you mean the set of prime numbers, greater ah, than or equal to three? Ah. That's why you know you shouldn't use dot 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 for your sets. You should really write you know the set of integers greater than or equal to three ah. that are prime numbers. Ah, yes, yes. that's another solution to this yes, too. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. I just want to trigger people on YouTube. Yes. So, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not angry. No. <laughs> no, on YouTube. No. <laughs> people. Are...